Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. I am Dr. Zina, full-time dentist. Today we will talk about the canine classification of mild occlusion according to the angles classification as well. But before we continue, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below because it would really help me to do more and more videos. In class one canine relation, it is when the mesial slope of the upper canine is sitting on the distal slope of the lower canine. In class two canine relation, we have half unit and full unit. In half unit, the slope of the upper canine is sitting on the slope of the lower canine immediately. And it's called half unit because uh, still the lower canine is not moving more backward. In a class two full unit, the distal slope of the upper canine is sitting on the mesial slope of the lower canine. And it is called full unit because now the lower canine is more backward in comparison with the upper canine. In a class three canine relation, the mesial slope of the upper canine lies behind the distal slope of the lower canine. So the upper canine is between the lower canine and the first premolar between always class three is between just like the molar relationship between now another way to know whether this one is a class one or a class two or a class three canine relation i have another way to show you in a class one canine relation the lower canine is more forward in a class two canine relation the lower canine is more backward in a class three canine relation it is between the lower canine and the first premolar. I think it's much easier for you to know it like that. This is another picture. As you can see in the first picture up, the lower canine is more forward, forward equal to class one. Picture two, the lower canine is more backward. So this one is a class two and you can name it as class two full unit. In the third picture, the last picture, you can see that the, lo the lower canine is or sorry the upper canine is between the lower canine and the first premolar so between also another picture in a class one the first photo you can see that the lower canine is more forward in a class two it is more backward in a class three it is between thank you all for watching my video if you enjoyed don't forget to hit the like button comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe for more videos goodbye